Hi everyone, Powers of the Buster here, and I am going to show you guys the last items that we purchased from Toys R Us before they are, they had actually closed, um, because they're closed now, but, yeah, the, um, very, very last item that we purchased was, let's see, let me grab them out, uh, one of them is kind of, Stuck. Hold on. Okay. So I showed you guys this one before. So yeah, this one um I got during the closing. So it was like probably a dollar off of the original price. And then, cause that was the first one they came out with. Then I got this guy, Ray. Playmobil. So, and again, I, I believe I showed you guys these ones before. Packs look good, coloring and everything. He should have came with a slime blower though, but you know, he does have ecto goggles like the originals. But this was the very last item I purchased from Toys R Us for myself very first item I got from Toys R Us was the Ghostbuster item. Well, the Kenner Ghostbusters were the very first toys I ever had as a kid. And then I uh, went on to Ninja Turtles, then Power Rangers, uh, Batman the Animated Series, uh, Earthworm Jim. I'm actually naming off Christmases <laughs> of the collections I had gotten. Earthworm Jim and Resident Evil. Two, no, Extreme Ghostbusters, because it was no, all right, Airform Gem was ninety five or four, because Power is ninety three, ninety four was Airform Gem because the series came out ninety five, and in ninety six was Beast Wars, ninety seven or ninety six were between Batman and Beast Wars, one of the two. Around the Earth and Gem and Beast Wars and Batman, it was interchangeable. Uh, and then Resident Evil, no, Extreme Ghostbusters in 97 or 96. And then the Resident Evil figures and so forth. Uh, actually, my Christmas has stopped after that. Uh, I didn't get anything actually until like 2003. I got the 2K Turtles. So, yep. And I got this guy off Amazon. Should have got two of them that way I could give Ray a slime blower, but I'm not really too into the slime blowers. I actually would rather get uh, another uh, one of these guys to give it to Winston. And this is the very last toy my son got. I showed you guys this in a Roblox video, but I'm not really sure if this is the box that came with it, but. Yeah, it was this girl. And again, my favorite. So yeah, those are the very last items we bought. Oh, wait, there's one more. But I don't know if I could reach it. It might be a centipede over there. Yeah, my house has centipedes now. But anyway, it's under the Rugrats Nickelodeon collection. Chucky. No, um, Tommy Pickle, the house. But, uh... Yeah, this right here on the screen was uh, two, a month or two before it closed, or a month and a half maybe. And this was us leaving out the doors. So, yep, there's that. So yeah, there was... And like these things, they would not sell me because they had like the Power Ranger ones and the superhero ones and Mario. I asked for them, but they wouldn't sell them to me. I went back the next day, they was gone. They sold them to someone. It's pretty messed up, but whatever. Here's my son playing with the what was left of the toys. This was like when everything was 40% off. So it's like, you know. Um, 
wasn't really that many good things. I mean, there was things, but it wasn't anything that good. So, here's when it became 50% off, and those <laughs> were still there. No one was buying those. Let me see if I got it good enough so you guys can see. I don't know. But yeah, these, I asked, could I take those? And I think I only wanted like two of them. And they went and sell them to me. But they sold them to someone else who clearly bought all of them or got them for free so yeah that sucked they even sold the rafters and all this but they will not sell me this thing I do not know what that was all about and I've been going here since, since I was a kid so uh, what else and I'm no pro at editing videos or whatever so <laughs> this is all just off the computers uh, Windows viewer and this was the day before the last day. The very last day I couldn't go because I'm not going to lie, I actually teared up and was heartbroken. So I didn't go the very last day. Uh, my friend Michelle Ivy, who's a huge Ninja Turtle fan, was there. And I just watched from her uh, feed because she lives in the area also. So I just watched her feed of uh, her live stream of it. And as you can see, there was like nothing there. Most things that was out here, like I don't think I got a clear shot of them. Let me zoom in. It was like Pops and Silver War and it was some Spider-Man 2 items. Like literally the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 2 items. They like dug out from beneath the earth in the bowels of the Toys R Us stock room <laughs> and they put those out and I don't know if anybody bought them but yeah oh in fact let me see that's not what I wanted to do Let's see if I go to this one and zoom in because I wish someone did something like this and showed all like the Ghostbusters stuff from when I was little because I missed out on those opportunities. There's a lot of, well, there was some Journey Girl there. So. And I find it weird that this Toys R Us is closed and all in the U.S., but everywhere else is open. That just makes no sense to me. I don't, I don't know. It's like, how could you have one and not the other? But, yeah. Oh, for Teen Titans, uh, the theory of the Teen Titans show is, and toys or whatever is keeping the show afloat, that's bullcrap because this store was packed to the brim with Teen Titans to the very end. <laughs> I didn't uh, get pictures of it. I think I did, but I didn't save it or something. Something happened to the pictures. Um, yeah, they were still there. So them saying those are selling was a huge lie. They weren't selling. So, they just want to keep that show on the air to irritate people. Yeah, let's see what's here. Look, she's like, whatever, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, and here's the uh, one picture. It's like, yeah, this is sad. This is very sad. Let me zoom in. But, also, now this is being extra. I guess everyone has grown up. There's no more Toys R Us kids. That's bull crap because Japan, I'm assuming, Canada, everywhere else, the UK got a Toys R Us deal. So everyone hasn't grown up. There is Toys R Us and there's still kids around. So this is just being extra and a lie. I love the, how to use the throwback giraffe, which is the best giraffe my giraffe right here to put that I never got used to this one I got the figure from him like well before the store closed and a bag but you know I never um, opened it or anything but I never really cared for this design um, but yeah here's our Toys R Us look at all the windows this was a pretty sick looking Toys R Us I loved it, man. So much nostalgia. Walking in, and we walked 
this way. This is where all the action figures was. And they had the Resident Evil figures. And it, it's weird because, like, the main highlight of figures I remember is Resident Evil. For it's almost as if that's the very first thing I got there, and it wasn't. But that's what I <laughs> remember the most for whatever reason. But yeah, look how colorful it is. Reds, blues, yellow, greens. I think the light was going out here, but this shows people make those Android jokes. But look how crispy this image is. I'm not really sure how good it's coming off through the the camera from the screen, but this is a beautiful picture. This sums up my childhood right here. Look, lights and glass. Things I like. So yeah, I'm really sad. Um, also, I think I had a picture or a video. Here's my son. He's tall and he was, he's six now. I was about to say he was five at the time, but this was <laughs> not too long ago. He wanted those and we went back to get them and surprisingly they was gone. All those is gone too. So, yeah guys, uh, and let me know if you guys want to see me and my son on these videos. Cause it's like, yeah, it's easy to do the videos without showing my face and all that, but I'd rather show who I am, you know, but I figure I don't have enough subs or whatever, so it's not really that important, but I don't mind doing it. So yeah, um, yeah, these are it. Uh, Ghostbuster 2 figures. <laughs> Started off with Kenner Real Ghostbusters at Toys R Us. Ended with uh, the Playmobil Ghostbusters 2. It's really sad and a shame, but me, before I end this video, I'm going to go through a few theories. I think the best bet would be to um, let the company die, which they did, and come back under new management. Use the same name. That way, all the debt is gone. They can use the same name, change the logo a little, and just pretty much just start fresh. That way, all the sales, they'll be making money instead of using that making sales to pay off debt they'd be making sales to stay afloat and everything else and yeah we'd be gravy again pretty much um as for people saying walmart and amazon is put them out of business no that's bull crap what put them out of business is themselves and getting money from investors or whatever the case inheriting other people's debt pretty much so they sell items. The items, instead of making profit, was going to the debt. So therefore, they was not making any money at all, which is how they got in this situation. People talk about save Toys R Us. No, if you was to try to save Toys R Us, it was going to happen regardless. They was going to go into debt again because they're not making their sales. That money they're making from collectors and some kids who are buying toys is going towards the debt instead of sales or uh, profit um what else I was going to mention about them yeah and Amazon people saying Walmart Amazon toys are cheaper you go to find a Marvel Legend on their websites you're going to find some from third party the best ones the ones that's most sought after it's going to be from a third party for like 40 bucks it's going to be over $20 Walmart just forget about it unless it's the common one you're going to see all the time they're always going to be sold out or not even carry them or through a third party so yeah that whole Amazon thing was bull crap because I was still ordering things off of ToysRUs.com with the free shipping and yeah everything worked out great I love Toys R Us website most of the merchandise I bought was from Toys R Us. Yeah, they were a little pricey on some things, which, you know, I'm guilty of also going to Walmart and picking up the same item or Target for cheaper. But, you know, exclusives and things, that prices wasn't that bad. It wasn't that high off. So, yeah, that, I mean, 
people make it seem like they was just the big giants that they couldn't compete against them and it was the be all of it. No, that wasn't the whole story. Part of it, yes, but not the whole thing. So, um, yeah, guys, if you enjoy me talking and ranting about things <laughs> like I asked in all videos, <laughs> like, share, comment, subscribe, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I could do more reading videos, more talking videos, uh, videos showing off different items I have, just different things in general. Oh, I forgot to show off the slime, which, let's see if I can open it. My son used for when he's playing Bendy an ink machine, it's black sludge slime. So it looks just like the ink. So if they made a playset, you know, and I know you guys are watching whatever that company was that made those bendy figures. There's slime for it. So yeah, uh, I also had these Ghostbuster slimes. So yeah, guys, um, I will catch you guys later. Uh, Again, like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Um, power to the Buster. Out.